Well, here it is Sunday morning. I'm about to head off on my adventure. Going to go on a little walkabout, starting off at Full Life Fellowship Church. I mean, we're already starting with a bit of a hitch. You know me. I was not entirely prepared for leaving this morning, so I was up until about 5 a.m. this morning getting ready and packing and everything. So, working on about an hour and a half of sleep. Hopefully, I won't fall asleep on the road. Uh, actually, every, that's what everybody's saying. They're saying, don't fall asleep on the road. I'll be fine. It'll be okay. It's not a long trip today. sitting out here enjoying the morning. It's pretty beautiful. You can see the uh, sort of garden area they got out here. Uh, I had no, no trouble with sleepiness despite all of your concerns uh, because I'm pumped to be on the road. I'm pumped to be done packing all my stuff and kind of moving on to the next thing finally. It's uh, peaceful out here. So, I'm a bit of a homebody. I'd rather spend any holiday or weekend at home than go to some sort of circus for entertainment or travel to see sites somewhere, you know, exotic. Have you ever felt that way? Sometimes it's good just to rest in a place where you belong and that belongs to you. You know, I got this new phone that I'm using to record. And for a long time, I've wanted a phone that was where I could just say, I could set it like a little home and say, go home. And the phone would give me the directions or whatever. And I know that's not a big feature or anything, but uh, my old phone couldn't do that. And this new phone can. And ironically enough, now that I've got that feature, I've got no place that I can really set as a home. I mean, I haven't really for a little while now. And so, I mean, after all, as much as I care for you, and as much as I belong to you, you don't really belong to me. Not really. I grew up in San Antonio uh, most of my childhood, third grade on. And I've considered it my hometown for some time. I mean, 20 years is a, a long time to be in a place. I've had a lot of intimate knowledge and familiarity with San Antonio and a lot of friends and friends like you uh, that are in it. I even got to meet up with some friends from high school. I hadn't seen them not since I graduated. And it was, uh, it was really neat. I belonged to them. But none of it belongs to me anymore. At least not for now. Not really. Sometimes it's good to get out of our comfort zones. And get out amongst the world that we're sojourners in. You might say that's kind of a paradox with what I was saying just a moment ago. But you better make peace with apparent contradictions in this world. Because it's full of them. Our creator God is too infinite to have everything fall neatly into categorized boxes. So for now, I'll be setting my current location and my current destination as home. 
and making my peace with belonging to places that don't really belong to me. So my grandmother had all this extra syrup and stuff that uh, dates and things, the whole thing of uh, raisins that uh, and brown sugar, brown sugar out the wazoo. And I was trying, I kept it because it's stuff that keeps. But I was trying to figure out a way that I could go ahead and use it, and that I could have some snacks and things for my trip. And so I finally decided that I would make some British flapjacks. Uh, they're basically soft granola bars, chewy granola bars. So I did some. I looked up some flapjack recipes and figured out that basically you got one part butter for every one part brown sugar, and then half of one part of syrup for the liquid ingredients, and then pretty much one-to-one -one liquid to dry ingredients with the oats, but you can think of it as 2.5 parts oats, and then sometimes some of the recipes added in half a part of various dried fruits or nuts. So I looked at what I had, and I came up with three types that I'm going to make. I'm going to make some, some golden granolas, and I'm going to make some, basically using all, the, all these uh, packets and this this little section over here is going to be another one, and I'm I'm calling it the uh, the sort of dark and chewy, I guess, because it's using the dark corn syrup, but it's going to also have the flavored uh, oatmeal a little bit. And then uh, I'm going to make some some maple syrup with the with raisins, so maple raisin. Uh, and then I'm also going to just make some uh, kind of regular ones with my favorite stuff, the sort of Cashews and cranberries. I feel like I'd like to put those into that one. And then uh, some sunflower kernels that I bought to go with that. And I've got some honey that's going to go with that section. So I went to the store. I mean, I already had some oats, but I had to go buy it to make all this stuff. I needed two more uh, oat things and uh, lots of butter. Oh my gosh, I had to buy 17 cups of butter. Let me show you all this butter. It's a lot of freaking butter. So this, I'm going to use the syrup as the basis for my start. It says it's about a fourth a cup, and there's 12, so there should be about three cups in here. I'll test that in a second, and then I'll put six cups of brown sugar. I'm just curious. I want to see if it really comes out to three cups, so I'm going to pour it in here. That's one. Two, just about three. Now my hands are full and I can't stop the uh, video from recording while I sit here and let it drip. Do 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 do. cups of sugar now I gotta add six cups of butter I'm using challenge butter uh, thanks to my friend uh, who pointed it out as one of the better cooking butters uh, to use I'm using uh, four cups salted and one cup unsalted generally I use unsalted butter when I make things but uh, the recipes some of them ask for a pinch of salt so I, I figured a pinch is about two-thirds of my butter so that'll that'll work now I gotta add in all these. Got my granola all set up here with my raisins and a little bit of dates. I'm just waiting for this butter to finish melting. I'm going to mix it in there. I think 
I'm barely going to be able to fit it inside. This is my biggest batch, so if I can make it work for this one, I can make it work for the rest. They look just a little bit moist, but uh, I know they're supposed to be chewy. I'm hoping they bake up a little, a little drier though, because uh, right now they they look like they. I might need to add more dry ingredients in some of the future batches, but we'll see. And while I'm waiting on that to cook, make the next batch. floated up to the top and there's lots of butter that kind of came up with them but now it seems to be soaking back in into the bars where all the raisins plumped up and you can see the butter so I definitely decided as I tried more and more batches to lighten up on the butter and increase the amount of oats and, and they take a long time to cool they come out and they're all very gooey and you gotta let them cool and then cut them up and then let them cool a lot more before you try to pull them out. So I'm cutting all of these up and putting them on little saran wraps and wrapping them up so that they're in little individual portions that I can eat on the way. They're they're pretty uh, they're pretty greasy and sticky so it's it's nice to have a little saran wrap to kind of use to keep the fingers clean while you're on the road. Drip, drip, drop, little maple shower. Dee, 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 dee. Drip, drip, drop, little maple shower. Dee, 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 dee. Hum, dee, 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 hum, dee, 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 dee. I just got done shining my boots, polishing them all up. I considered not bringing them because I got too much stuff already, but wearing boots is just kind of something a Texan does, and can't really go off to the west coast with all those hippies out there and not have my boots, right? Uh, they've been they've been needing a good shoe polishing probably all year, and I like to uh, I like to keep up with that sort of stuff, but uh, had not really kept up with it uh, this year with everything going on. And, but I hadn't forgotten about it. I was constantly thinking, oh, I got to polish these boots. Oh, I got to polish these boots. Finally got around to it. And I just want to let you guys know that um, I haven't forgotten about you either. I think about you a lot. And uh, you're, in my, you're in my thoughts and often my prayers. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you say a prayer for me. I hope you